Let's start. Oh, excuse me. Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys. It's for writers like you and me who use Macs and iPhones and iPads from today, possibly, optionally, also HomePods. Because I have no idea why, but I have been really tense lately. No, re well, I mean, all right, you know all the reasons. Uh, you, but I do need to calm down. And what I want to do is do it in a way where we're talking and uh, I think might be useful to you. This is how writers can get the most out of Apple Music. Now, I do have specific things that are actually to do with writing, but all of it is just sort of stuff I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, before we start, yes, I think pretty much everything, pretty much everything I'm going to show you, you can also do in some way at least with Spotify. And actually, if you can't uh, justify paying for streaming music just yet, or you're not fussed enough yet about what music is available to you, you probably should try Spotify first. It's got a free version and Apple Music does not. Mind you, Apple Music has a trial version. Okay. I personally, I just, I found Spotify oddly cumbersome. Yeah, I don't know why. And, and, and since I have all this Apple gear, it was at least worth trying Apple Music. And I've been trying it now for five years. I think it's a keeper. And if I don't think a day goes by that I don't use it, much more actually than I used to use my own music collection, I am surprised to say there are regularly new things I find out. Let's get started with just getting ourselves ready to write. Yeah, I mean, forget how this can help us with our characters, can definitely help us with our productivity. Just listen. Play something I'll like. All right. Let's kick things off with Fergus Sings the Blues by Deacon Blue. Pause. I should say, actually, um, I, I can't play music to you here. Also, I seem to use Siri an awful lot. And uh, just so that it doesn't you know, annoy your devices, I'm going to silence out that bit. So I'm not swearing or anything. I'm just saying the magic words. You know? Okay. Anyway, um, that was something I like. How about also this? Um, play my favourites mix. Now playing your favourites mix, William. I'm doing this on the hope pod, and you see you can just tap to stop the start. There's a volume control as well there. Uh, I'm doing it on the hope pod so that you can, well, weirdly, so you can hear it better when I can't actually play you any of the music. Okay, I haven't fully thought this through, really. Everything I'm doing here, I normally do, well, I do it a lot on the HomePod actually while I'm at my desk, but uh, on my iPhone, on my iPad. Um, yep, I'm a Mac occasionally, for some reason less on the Mac, I suppose because I've got this next to it. But the ability to just call for what you want, call for something, isn't that just amazing, that one? Play something I'll like, and off it goes and does it. It would just keep doing that all day, and it pretty much right, yeah? Uh, and that's ability, it has a favorites mix, a new music mix, a get up mix, that's that's pretty good. And a chill mix, who wants to chill? Never chill, don't chill, work harder. It's got all of these and they rotate every week. So there's always something that you can easily get to, lazily get to. Play my get up mix. Here's your get up mix, William. Oh, love that, Dar Williams. What do you hear in these sounds? Anyway, sorry, I'm going off on one. Let's concentrate. Let's focus. This is for writers. Uh, sometimes, actually, that's enough. I just want to hear some music while I write. But how about this? You're a writer. How about playing something that someone else likes? Someone such as your main character. You do this by, well, count on your fingers. Figure out what, what, when about, they, when were they about 15? And then play 90s hits. Now playing 90s pop radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should say, actually, I'm going to show you some of the music that's being played here, including this. This is an example, completely different. This is a playlist that I composed myself. I composed myself. I didn't write the music. I compiled it. That's the word. Curated. Oh, yes. I curated a playlist called Sequences 
shortened. It's because I have a play called Sequences Shortened. It's set in a radio station. Here's the playlist. And uh, it was important to me, actually. Uh, it's set in a radio station, so there has to be music. And the music's supposed to be fun and light when the story's a bit serious. And actually, the music is also telling the story. And I wanted that to be at least reasonably subtle. So I honestly think I spent longer compiling that playlist uh, than I did writing the scenes that they appeared in. I should probably do something more about that uh, play, shouldn't I? In a bit. Um, so that's getting Siri to play things of certain eras, if you like. It's getting Siri to play, I keep saying Siri, it, it, it's getting Apple Music to play what you fancy listening to or what your characters fancy listening to. How about we also use it for a little bit deeper research? Okay, this is just so useful. For instance, um, I I keep meaning to get into Bob Dylan, and I've been listening to Francesca Villanueva for ten years or more. I mean, long enough that I should know how to pronounce her name, really. Uh, but sometimes I feel like I've just been listening to her singles, his singles, dipping in. Apple Music has this thing called Essentials. Play Bob Dylan Essentials. Here's the playlist. Or uh, how about play Francesca Valenzuela Essentials? Here's the playlist. Sometimes Siri actually says, here's the Francesca Valenzuela playlist. And I was actually listening out to see, how do you pronounce it? When you get into this music, right, you, you, this is a way of giving you... Um, <sighs> like a fast pass, a quick access to what are the, the, the best pieces by the artist. And by best, I don't mean the top 10 best-selling singles. The Essentials list, when it's available, is a human curated list of the music that a, a good, interesting fan would tell you about. They're not so nutty, or at least they don't reveal to you they're so nutty, that they give you the most obscure B-sides and things. This is, you, you're like this. You're like this. And you get a couple of hours worth of their music. And that is just like a quick dose. If you need your character to be humming a song, writes aloud, depending on the medium you're doing it in. If you need a reference for something like that, it's a quick way of, you know what am I talking about? It's just a way for you to enjoy some nice music. But all right, let's, let's go deeper because you can. Uh, after Essentials, try this. Um, play... Cheryl Crow, Next Steps. Here's the playlist. I don't know that one. I like Cheryl Crow stuff. Essentials, Next Steps. So you've you've got quite a bit way into the artist or your character has. This is what they, they would be listening to. This is what you should be listening to. And there's one more level. Play uh, the... Beatles Deep Cuts. Here's the playlist. I don't know that one either. It, this isn't available for every artist. Uh, essentials, Next Steps, Deep Cuts. You get them. Play Kate Bush, Next Steps. Here's the playlist. I do know that one. Uh, you get essentials for a lot of artists, but not all of them. Um, if they have a sent, they won't. If you don't have essentials, there won't be a next steps or a deep cut. But it's like a, a smaller pyramid. What I like about this is I've said it's human curated. It's also human updated. That list will change as the artist brings out new material, as things change over time. Over the five years, I've seen quite a lot of change, particularly in that Francesca Valenzuela uh, one. Yeah, I probably need some tea just now. Oh, I've got to try that. You've got to see this. I was going to do something on my iPhone to show you, and I, I just thought, what the hell? Try it. So, uh, search for a song with the line, Preacher Tells a Story. Okay, playing Answers to Nothing by Mid Sure. That's just amazing. 
I only found that out talking to you. I've often searched for lyrics in Apple Music on my iPhone or on the Mac, but I didn't realize Siri could do it. I didn't honestly plan to do everything with Siri like this, but there you go. I learned a lot. Do keep in mind, by the way, that everything I've asked Siri to do, you can also do by literally typing into the Apple Music app on your iPhone, on your iPad, or your Mac. True story? This just pops into my head. Uh, I'm in the UK, and there used to be a, a TV drama here called Heartbeat. I mean, really gentle drama. Yes, yeah, Sunday night, naughty people come up in dramas with a great 1960s soundtrack at first, anyway. The video editors, this is honestly true, they had a networked copy of iTunes with some impossible number of 60s tracks, and they would do this. Here's a scene with a character riding a bike. Search for the keyword bicycle. That'll do. It's in the soundtrack. You don't have an impossible uh, collection of 60s tracks. You've got 60 million tracks from every year. And I listen to this so much more than when I had my own library, except there's one thing I really liked that I used to be able to do in iTunes. I could just set it up to iTunes so that it would play an hour's worth of music that, um, th that I liked, obviously it was from my collection, or that I'd played more than so many times, but I hadn't played in the last month or the last six months, and it would just do it. And then I'd write, and when the music stopped, I'd stop writing. Then the next time I wanted to write for an hour, I'd start the same playlist, but everything would be different. And of course it would be. The playlist was of music I haven't played in six months and I just play that stuff so it was constantly refreshing always an hour fantastic and that was a feature in iTunes called smart playlists it does still exist but it only works on the music in your own collection and hand on heart I've now been using Apple music for five years I'm not sure which hard drive or whatever my own collection is on so I would love to have that kind of playlist and I can't not using Apple's own system but there is a way, in fact, this one I'm going to have to show you on an iPhone instead. Here's an iPhone. Let me just open up this one here. It's an app called Miximum, I think it's pronounced. Uh, these are all the playlists I have. They're Apple Music playlists, but I can do this. A new playlist, a new mix. Um, let's say from all songs, give it a name, or just an hour. I'll do it. Now swipe across, and let's do some rules. I'm going to make that match all. Add a rule. Uh, let's see. Well, let's have a look. Most played, why not? And add a rule. Total count. No, total duration. That's what I want. Let's make that one hour for it. And now I'm done. I have a new playlist called an hour. Let's see what's in it. Okay. That's, it. That's a reasonable collection of things that I've done, that I've listened to quite a lot, I think. Some of those. Soda Jerk there, that's uh, music from my so-called life. And I did watch it on TV the other day. You should watch it on TV the other day, it's very good. Uh, but yeah, pretty much, I recognise this. I've been in a very poppy mood. I'm honestly surprised. There is no Francesca. Am I ever going to know how to pronounce that woman's name? I might have to go onto YouTube for it. I do mean it when I tell you that this is stuff that's useful for writing. Uh, I mean, I have found there are times when I just need to shut out the world and using something, a, a singer-songwriter playlist that's available on Apple Music. Oh, I love singer-songwriter stuff, so that kind of soothes me down into certain types of writing. If I'm doing a, an action scene in a script, I have been known to play faster, pacier music. I don't want to spend an awful lot of time selecting this. One the thing that I love about it is that it's just all there you know that's the beauty really of streaming music and it's worth the money to me I didn't buy an album every month before it but over a year I probably spent the same amount ish you know I'd have a splurge every now and again it'd add up um, Apple Music uh, in the UK where I am costs £9.99 a month in the US it's $9.99 a month but there's also this is gorgeous there's a family sharing option for fourteen ninety nine a month, pounds or dollars, you can have up to five people in your family sharing it. So in my case, uh, there's myself and my wife. And you know the thing about playing something you like? Well, it knows the difference between us. So if Angela says that, she gets, you know, better music, really. But if I do it, I get poppy stuff and the great... You've got to look up Francesca Valenzuela. 
and let me know how you pronounce it. That's the thing with Apple Music and how it helps me as a writer and how I think it might help you as a writer too. Have a look at Spotify if that's what you want. Um, you won't get all of these options at all, certainly on the free version. I don't know for certain that you'll get them all uh, with the paid one, but it's another service. It's pretty much the same music, so knock yourself out. But Apple Music, I really recommend it for writers. And that's it for 58 Keys. I have actually this second realized that my tea has gone cold talking to you and I don't want to look at the toast. How do you do this? We get into these chats, don't we? And I, is that an excuse for a second breakfast? Let's think about it. Listen, thank you very much uh, for watching this. I love that you do that. I love that you comment for it. And thanks for, uh, genuinely, I've been really tense. Uh, I'll tell you this now, this is not the, the episode that was gonna go out this week. I had another one, but I thought it was really complicated and it's already, but even just watching about my head was going, yeah, let's calm things down a bit. So I thought I'll just talk to you about something I really love doing. Um, something else I'd love is if you would do the YouTube dance. If you are a writer into using Macs and iPhones and iPads and HomePods and Apple Watches and AirPods, anything else, then 58 Keys is meant to be for you. So have a little subscribe and that does help me out. And in the meantime, take care of yourself, eh? And we'll see you soon.